understanding the cash flow statement. The cash flow statement is a financial statement which summarizes the company's cash movements, in and out. The CFS is one of three financial statements that list your company's cash flow. It measures how well you generate cash to pay off debts and fund your operating expenses. In this video, we'll show you how the capital to dividend C /D, ratio is structured and how you can use it when analyzing a company. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share so that when we release a new video, you are updated. A cash flow statement summarizes how money is flowing in and out of the business, whether it's from either the capital market or from operations. The CFS highlights a company's cash management, including how well it generates cash. The cash flow statement is one part of the three pieces that make up a company's financial statement. The other two are the income statement and balance sheet. The cash flow statement is primarily made up of three categories, operational, investment, and financing activities. One way of calculating cash flow is the direct method, which involves listing all the inflow and outflow of cash. The other way is the indirect method, which includes only net outflow or inflow. Cash flow statement, how it's used in different sectors and how to interpret it. The cash flow statement is company's operations, painted in a nutshell. It shows where they get their money and how they spend it. The statement of cash flows, CFS, is a financial statement that helps creditors determine whether the company is able to use its available cash in order to fund its operating expenses, pay down its debts and so on. The CFS is important to investors because it tells them whether or not a company is in good financial condition. Using this information, they can make better investment decisions. The structure of the cash flow statement. The main components of an operating cash flow statement include cash generated from business operations, cash provided by investing activities, funds obtained from obtaining external sources of funding. Cash flow from operations is any cash sources or uses from a company's business activities. Basically, it shows how much cash the company makes from its products or services. These operating activities, which can include receipts from the sale of goods and services, interest paid, income tax paid, Payments made to suppliers for materials used in production. Payments to employees and services to suppliers. Rent payments. And other type of operating expenses. Changes made in cash book, debtors, depreciation, inventory, and creditors generally lead to a change in cash flow. Cash provided by investing activities. A company's cash flows include any sources or uses of cash, such as sales or buying of assets, lending money to suppliers or received from customers, and payments related to mergers and acquisitions. Basically, if your company changed its equipment, assets, or investments in some way, then that should have increased the amount of cash they have. A cash-out item is when a company invests in another, such as buying new equipment or buildings. Sometimes it's also investments that are only for a period of time, like securities. For example, if a company sells an asset it owns, be it one that can't be replaced or one that's being liquidated, the transaction is considered to be a cash-in item. Cash-out items include investments in fixed assets, such as purchasing new equipment or building improvements. Cash-in items are when a company sells an asset it owns, be it one that can't be replaced or one that's being liquidated. The transaction is considered to be a cash-out item. Cash from financing activities includes borrowing money as well as any payments made to shareholders including dividends, stock repurchases, and debt repayment. Every time a company issues a dividend to its shareholders, it has essentially donated money that went from the company's bank account to the individuals. Thus, if a company issues a bond to the public, the company receives cash financing. However, when interest is paid to bondholders, the company is reducing its cash. And remember, although interest is a cash-out expense, it is reported as an operating activity, not a financing activity. When considering cash flow, the operating activities include all of the expenses that are related to running a business. This includes all direct expenses, such as salaries and overhead costs. It also includes indirect expenses, such as advertising and finance fees. There are two ways to calculate cash flow. Direct cash flow method. The direct method adds up all of the cash payments and receipts, including cash paid to creditors, cash receipts from customers, and cash paid out in salaries. Direct method is easier for small businesses that use the cash basis accounting method.